ए राजा जी ए राजा जी सर सर मैं माननीय सदस्यों से आग्रह करता हूं नो मैं माननीय सदस्यों से आग्रह करता हूं उनका वो रिपोर्ट भी नहीं जा रहा मिस्टर स्पीकर सर माननीय सदस्यों से एक मिनट प्लीज 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 माननीय सदस्यों से आग्रह करता हूं हम जिस विषय पर हम ये बिल ला रहे हैं उस विषय पर चर्चा करें ये भारत की संसद में हम अगर इतिहास और उन पर चर्चा करने लगेंगे तो उचित नहीं है कि सबको जो आपस में जवाब देना पड़ता है आप इस संबंधित बिल पे बात करें आप उनकी पेरी मत करो आपको मैंने बोला ए राजा जी ए राजा जी मैंने पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर नहीं दिया उनको आपको बोलने के लिए मिस्टर स्पीकर सर थैंक यू पर आप बड़े सीनियर हैं पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर विधेयक के बीच में पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर नहीं आता है राजा जी मिस्टर स्पीकर सर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कमेंट अपॉन दी टू बिल्स ऑन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सर इन 2019 आर्टिकल 370 सेवेंटी वॉज अब्रगेटेड a lengthy argument was placed before the house on both sides in consequence consequent to the article 370 abrogation these laws bills are being piloted by the honorable minister home minister before the house sir all these subsequent uh, bills which are being passed in the parliament are subject to the if and buts if this is happened then this will be the situation if this is happen then this will be the some hypothetical measures but in positive sense it has to be discussed in the house sir having heard the long argument both in the 370 and two bills which were passed in this house and of course two bills passed in the other house i personally hear the argument of the honorable home minister and he discussions to place either this house or that house before beginning my argument my only humble prayer is the honorable home minister spoke much about the history on jammu kashmir how 370 came into existence how it was looked by either parties and how this bills are being essentially placed before this house sir my humble request before opening my argument is let us have the discussion on jammu and kashmir with the evidence convincing evidence certainly not by emotions lot of things have spoken in the both house now ultimately whatever be the decision or whatever whatever be the uh, party line we took earlier before the supreme court judgment is also the different right or wrong supreme court judgment came into existence of course the judgment which has given by the appas court not only give you a political encouragement to the ruling party but a judicial endorsement for the act that was brought and passed in the house abrogating 370 sir i do not want to comment the judgment of the supreme court whatever be the judgment passed by the supreme court is the land of the law law of the law land but remember with the due respect to the supreme court and the honorable house the words which are often used by the justice krishnayar quoting the anglo jackson suris prudence we are supreme court judges sitting here i quote we are final that does not mean we are infallible and quote this should be kept in your mind when the healthy discussion is taking place in this house sir as my senior member with the humor he spoke something but he mentioned one point when the article amendment 42nd amendment was brought to his house the then congress government did a mistake that the parliament is having omnipotent power that cannot be questioned by the judiciary that was struck down by the subsequent government i afraid such a situation should not prevail again by virtue of this supreme court sir what is missing in the judgment is that thing sir and i am not yielding i will come to later i am not sir i am not yielding please let us have healthy discussion continue, please. please come to later no, i am just i am just making a point here it was 
it was not only struck down, it was brought back. There was 45, 46 amendments subsequently, oh. which the Janta Party government headed by Muraji brought to reverse that. Yes. So the amendment brought by one parliament was reversed by the next parliament. Okay, okay. Yes. So it is not that uh, the uh, court struck it and so it No, happened. no, it has been reversed. The apprehension in the mind of the people the is... Parliament should, has done no, it. No, no, it should not come into existence of 42 again. Yeah, so, ah. so the parliament... Hear me, hear me, finally give your answer. So like, no problem. Same way here also. Hear me, no problem. No, my only apprehension is, it is correct, 42 that has been taken away. By virtue of the Supreme Court judgment, the learned advocates are discussing that the again 42 may come. That should not happen further. That's all. That's all. That is my prayer. Sir, we respect the judgment of the Supreme Court. But what we, we are missing is, what we are missing is, historical obligations owned and promises made by the constitutional functionaries when the Article 370 was enacted in this parliament. And before that, although the conversation between the Kashmir and the government of India, such a promises and historical obligations were taken, now they are hanging in the air. Sir, of course, one thing is something swallows that the Solicitor General, before the Supreme Court, gave a categorical assurance that the statehood will be revived as soon as possible and the election will be held in time. Sir, I am very happy, along with the other members, by virtue of the Supreme Court, that the sovereign power of this government has been assimilated to the, sorry, the sovereign, sovereign power of the Kashmir that has been assimilated to the sovereign, sovereign power of India. Sovereign power, okay, but what about the federalism and democratic values? The questions still hanging in the air. Sir, placing this small introduction, I am coming few quotes, nothing in my mind, because we have to correct the history. Today, all newspapers carries the article of Prime Minister, where Prime Minister says, I quote, I belong to the ideological framework where Jammu and Kashmir was not merely a political issue but it was about addressing the aspiration of the society, unquote. I am not able to understand the observation made by the Prime Minister. Ideological framework where JKN was not merely a political issue, but it was about addressing the aspiration of which society? That is the question. The aspiration of the society must be addressed properly. This is the, this is the key words started from 1946 and 47, whether the consensus of the Jammu and Kashmir, political will of the people of the Jammu and Kashmir have been taken into consideration by us. That was not prevailing that time, admittedly. Sir, I am relying upon the Prime Minister's book, First Prime Minister of Kashmir. The title is Looking Back. The Prime Minister was Mahajan. Uh, Yes, 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 yes. Maharjan, Maharjan, Maharjan. Yes, Maharjan. The allegation that has been, sir, whatever be, we want to correct the history, we have to let it be correct. The only thing is we should not wrongly understood the history and wrongly propagate the history. Interpreting the history. Sir. Sir, I am coming, I am coming, sir. Sir, very important point. I am a healthy man against this case. Sir, what happened? Now the accusation that has been made frequently that... Had it been Jammu Kashmir issue, had it been taken by the Sardar Patel instead of Nehru, the decision and the results would, should have been impeccable. I am coming to that. I want to show Sardar Patel was part and parcel of the all decisions taken by the cabinet headed by Jawaharlal. That's all. I am not shifting the burden to anybody. For that, I am quoting few lines. Sir, looking back, the Prime Minister of Kashmir says, on the midnight of 10th October 1947, when I had retired to bed, an urgent telephone call came from Sardar Patel asking me why I was not proceeding to Srinagar and telling me that I should go to, should do so at once. I told him that I had received no orders from the governor either about my leave or about my permission to serve elsewhere. It seems that Sardar Patel immediately rang up the governor asking him grant me to grant me leave and permission to elsewhere. Sardar Patel again rang me up at about 1 a.m in the morning, asking me to come immediately to Delhi in the plan of Lady Mountbatten, who was in Amistad that day. Yeah. Now, 